When he was two years old, the family moved to San Anselmo, California, where filmmaker George Lucas was one of his neighbors. Fincher was fascinated with filmmaking from the age of eight, when he began making films with an 8mm camera. It was the 1969 feature film, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, 1969, that inspired him to pursue a career in cinema. Born in Denver, Colorado, Fincher was interested in filmmaking at an early age. He directed numerous music videos, most notably Madonna's Express Yourself in 1989 and Vogue in 1990, both of which won him the MTV Video Music Award for Best Direction. In 1999, Fincher was shortlisted by Columbia Pictures as one of the potential directors to helm Spider-Man, 2002, a live-action adaptation of the fictional comic book character of the same name. Fincher later said of his pitch, I went in and told them what I might be interested in doing, and they hated it. Sam Raimi was chosen as director instead. When working with actors, Fincher demands a grueling retake after retake to capture a scene perfectly. For instance, the Zodiac cast members were required to do an upward of 70 takes for certain scenes, much to the displeasure of Jake Gyllenhaal. Rooney Mara had to endure 99 takes for a scene in The Social Network and said that the director enjoys challenging people. Gone Girl averaged 50 takes per scene. In one of the episodes for Mind Hunter, it was reported that a 9-minute scene took 11 hours to shoot. One element of Fincher's visual style is the specific way in which he uses tilt, pan and track in the camera movements. When a character is in motion or expressing emotions, the camera moves at the exact same speed and direction as their body. The movements are choreographed precisely between the actors and camera operators. The resulting effect helps the audience connect with the character to understand their feelings. In a 2017 interview, Fincher explained his fascination of sinister themes, there was always a house in any neighborhood that I ever lived in that all the kids on the street wondered. What are those people up to? We sort of attach the sinister to the mundane in order to make things interesting. Tim Walker of The Independent praised Fincher's work, stating his portrayals of the modern psyche have a power and precision that few filmmakers can match. In 2003, Fincher was ranked 39th in The Guardian's 40 Best Directors. In 2012, The Guardian listed him again in their ranking of 23 best film directors in the world, applauding his ability to sustain tone and tension. In 2016, Zodiac and The Social Network appeared in the BBC's 100 Greatest Films of the 21st Century. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel for more videos.